ROP, return on presentations. Is this something that you've ever thought about? Most people haven't really spent a whole lot of time thinking about getting a return on their presentations. They think about, you know, being more relaxed or not nervous. But how do we get a return? What is the result? Well, when it comes to figuring out how we get a return, we have to think, what do we want to create as a result of the interview and how do we quantify? So if I'm giving a sales presentation to 50 people in the audience, I want X number of people to come up. Now, say they come up and they stand online and then they start to get bored waiting and they have to go somewhere else and they leave. No good. We need to have a sheet that we can hand to everybody and say, write down what it is that you'd like to know, put your contact info while you're waiting here online. This way I can get and meet to everybody. We can even take it a step further. We can create a sheet for everyone in the audience that has some value item on it where they write their name and they can rip off a piece or that they have to give a business card in exchange. These are just a few ideas, but here's what I want you thinking. We need to get a return. So even if we're talking to people internally, the most basic return that they remembered what was said and they acted on it.